Well, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you clicked on my video for the first time, thank you for stopping in. My name's Dee, I'm an avid thrifter and reseller. I hope you all are ready for a Goodwill and a Salvation Army thrift haul. Got some great stuff, not gonna waste any time yapping. We're gonna get right into this video. I'm going to do hmm, Salvation Army first. Why not? I spent a total of $47.30. $47.30. I could not resist these little cuties. Look at how adorable. They are salt and pepper shakers, and they're in excellent condition. No cracks, chips, or flea bites, or as I say, CCFs. So I was not going to pass those by. They are adorable. Ugh. I got this Pink Depression Cubist Divided Relish Dish. I love pink depression glass. As my friend Scooty says, pink, pink, you stink, but it doesn't stink. If you're wondering who Scooty is, well, his name is Scott, but my my love name for him is Scooty. He's, he's one of my best friends and his uh, channel is the Old Curiosity Shop. So if you love old items like from the early 1900s up until like the 50s, you got to check out his channel. I will leave the link in the description box. And you might also like my other friends, Vintage Uprising Texas, Tammy and David, and my buddy Vintage Vinny. I will leave all of those links in my description box. But this I love. I love the Cubist pattern and... I just love it. Now, I'm not sure who makes this. It could be Whitehall. It could be, I don't think it's Fostoria. Um, it's probably Whitehall. But then again, I could be wrong because I am not a glass connoisseur. Um, I got this. This is a um, Party Light Season um, Lantern. So, of course, they, these are magnetic panels that you stick on. They put on, they put on, you put them on each side. We've got two snowflakes. We've got two leaves. And that's what you got for the seasons. So, of course, you would only put two on at a time, unless you're not sure if it's winter or fall, which works well around where I live in New York State. <laughs> You never know what kind of weather you're going to get here, people. I love Halloween. Yes, I got this awesome piece. It's resin. And it's just a little shelf sitter. Love him. <laughs> love him. Got this. I just thought this was really cute. Um, it's very dated, so I will take this heart off and maybe put something else on it or just leave it like it is if someone likes it just as it is. Just a cute little wooden basket. Um, you could put salt and pepper shakers in here, maybe napkins, uh, you know, whatever. I just thought it was very cute. I got this uh, Atlas Easy Seal canning jar. I like to pick these old ones up and I fill them with uh, vintage 
buttons and sell a jar of buttons. So that was my reason for picking um, this one up. Ugh. I got these two beautiful crystal angel um, taper candle holders. These are gorgeous. They especially would look wonderful on a light base. If you put them each on a light base and then put your candle or fairy lights up inside. Oh, these are beautiful and they're in perfect condition. So, had to get those. I found this beautiful vintage purse. Oh my word. And it does have the, the chains in here. Um, I have to, well, I don't know what they did here with the chains, but I'll fix it. Um, this chain really is way too silver to go with this purse, I think, but I'll, I'll put a new chain on there. No problemo. And it'll match a little bit better. Now this, I'm not sure, I'm thinking it is like um, for mayonnaise or maybe it's missing, maybe it went with something else. Um, I'm gonna have to ask my friend Scott because I'm not quite sure, but it is gorgeous. And there are no chips, cracks, or flea bites on this piece. I just have a feeling it may be a mayonnaise bowl, but it's missing the glass. Um, uh, spoon that goes with it, but I loved it, so I grabbed it. Um, I picked up five of these plastic uh, Easter eggs, and I am going to do a thrift flip on these. I've already started one downstairs. One I'm going to keep um, as a template for an egg shape, um, because you know, as simple as it may look, trying to draw an egg shape is not easy, okay? So I'm keeping one for a template. But as I said, I got um, five in total. They come in different colors, pink, lilac, yellow. Stick these over here. I got this package of... Um, Deco mesh, <laughs> I knew it would come to me eventually. I used to do a lot of deco mesh wreaths um, years ago. And usually it's like $10 a roll for this stuff. And I got it for, I think, um, 99 cents at Salvation Army. And I, um, I have made the deco mesh angels. I do have a video um, for that. Um, I will link it in the description box. Uh, so that's why I bought this, because I think I'll make a few um, for this coming Christmas to sell. So that's why I purchased that. And then I got a bath towel for us. My son likes these really huge bath towels, so I got this really nice pink one. Um, I think it's... Who is it? Richfield Home. But anyways, so yeah. So what I do is I'll buy ones that are like new and throw out the ratty ones. <laughs> and the last item that I got at Salvation Army is this beautiful tulip champagne pink tablecloth. Now this is a nice long rectangular one. Uh, no stains or anything on it, no holes. Um, I didn't find a tag on it to see if it had like a size, so I will have to measure it. But as I said, it's a nice long rectangular um, tablecloth. So that is everything I got at Salvation Army for $47.30. Not bad, not bad at all, peeps. Oh, excuse me while I have, have a sip, guys. Have a sip of whatever you might be having. 
Oh, that's good. I like these drinks too, the Frost. This one is classic lemonade. Really good. All right, moving on to Goodwill. I'm gonna start with this set that's right in front of me so I could get it out of my way. I love this set. Oh dear, look at this. If you are a Floridian, this would be perfect for you. Oh my goodness, it is in perfect condition. No chips, cracks, or flea bites on this piece. Um, it's Fitz and Floyd. It is Fitz and Floyd, 1989, two quart. And it comes with the matching creamer and a sugar. Now, let me just say that the handle on the sugar bowl has been repaired, but you would never know. I mean, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. What a great set. Oh my gosh. Now, I don't know why um, a pitcher would come with a cream and sugar. I don't know, but it's a set. So that's how I'm going to sell it. <laughs> then I found this uh, pretty lantern. How pretty is that? I absolutely fell in love with this. It looks like stained glass. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Oh, I love it. You hang this out on your porch. Beautiful. I love it. Let me open this up and blow the candle out. Okay. There we go. And it came with a little glass um, holder for the tea light. All right. This, I believe, is Cambridge. This beautiful bowl. I love, love this pattern. Um, I'm, I think it's, no. Is that the Capri? Is that the, the Capri blue? Is Capri the, the color blue or is Capri the pattern? I don't know. Uh, like I said, I, I am not up on my glass, but it's gorgeous. The clarity on this glass is just wonderful. So there's that piece. And then I found this beautiful plate. Uh, it isn't marked but I thought it was gorgeous. You know me with my hand-painted plates. Um, it isn't signed anywhere. And these look like, um, I don't know if these are cherry, cherry blossoms. Are those cherry blossoms? But I thought cherry blossoms were white. Maybe they're dogwood, I don't know. I'm not sure, I just know it's pretty. Um, I picked these globes up um, for someone, but she has already found some. So these will just be extras. If anybody needs um, the globes for the wall sconces, I have these. Um, they have a little uh, etched pattern. It looks like a piece of wheat. So I do have those. This is beautiful. It doesn't have its stopper, but I did not care. Look at this. I'm going to see if I have a stopper that will fit this. This is gorgeous. Now, I have to clean it. Um, it's As you can see, it's very hazy inside. So I'm going to see if I can't get that out. But that is a gorgeous, uh, I'm thinking it was a perfume bottle. It's beautiful. This was the find, the find of the day. I bought these, I brought them home, did some research to find out who made them and what the pattern is.
I have a pair. These are made by Fostoria, and the pattern is called Mademoiselle. One of these sells for $60 on eBay. So guess where I'm putting these? These are going to be listed on eBay for $120 for the pair or best offer. These are beautiful and they are in perfect condition, guys. I, I am so glad I bought these. I mean, they are gorgeous. Yep. I knew, I knew they were, they had to be a good glass company. I could tell by looking at them. I thought Fostoria, Cambridge, um, wasn't really sure. And I was glad I was able to find out because that was a fantastic find. These two candle holders, uh, way more than paid for this entire thrift haul when they sell. Hopefully they sell. <laughs> um, I got this gorgeous Fenton Hobnail cake pedestal cake plate, perfect condition, absolutely stunning, and it is huge. Oh, yes, and it does say Fenton right there. I was happy to find that piece. You know I love me some Fenton. I found this. I, I believe this is a, uh, I don't know why it doesn't open when you press down on that, but a butler, a private butler, what do they call those? I forget. But um, you would, uh, it would usually come with a little broom and you would take this around the table and sweep the crumbs off um, into here and then dump it out. And I love it. I love the hand painting on here. It's beautiful. Found another rolling pin. This one is an oldie. Look at those handles. You could tell this one got some serious use. Yes, indeed. This is from the 30s. Green is from the 30s, red is from the 40s, in case y'all didn't know that. I also found this uh, small cutting board, but I am going to use this uh, for a thrift flip. I will make something, you know, put something on here. So I picked up that. I got this brand new in the box mantle clock. How was I going to pass that up? Brand new in the box. Never used. I mean, heck yeah. I'll buy it all day long at a good price. Um, I picked this up mostly for the frame. It's got a, a beautiful lady uh, playing the piano. It's a very pretty uh, picture. Um, but I mostly got it, as I said, for the frame. I don't want to, didn't want to forget that because when stuff is sitting back here on the chair, I have a tendency to forget it's back there. Out of sight, out of mind, you know. Then I got this brand new. This is, um, hold on guys, hold on. Nico and Olive. I didn't know if it was Olive and Joy or Nico and Olive. Um, brand spanking new, never used. It comes with the strap, the long strap. Beautiful, beautiful color. That is a gorgeous purse right there. Two more things, y'all. 
This is, oh my God, I love this. Um, this doesn't need a thing done to it, except I have to repair one thing and I'll show you what it is. This hangs on the wall. So as you can see, this one, it broke off. Um, it was, there's Binks, say hi everybody. <laughs> Buddy, not with the glass. So I have uh, wood glue and I will repair this up here. But look how beautiful they put that paper on the inside. Oh my gosh. I absolutely fell in love with this when I found it. That's right, sir. <laughs> Come here. Here, sit down on mom's lap. Okay, well, that was a dumb move because the thing I have to get, I have to stand up to get it. Binksy, you gotta get down a minute, okay, baby? Sorry. He's like, make my mind up, will you? Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this lantern. It is huge. You know, I'll be doing a thrift flip on this after I clean it because it's gross. Oh, my goodness. That is a nice one. Ugh. And that is my last item from Goodwill. I spent a total of $92.05. And I saved $28.50 with my senior discount. So, what do you guys think? Do you think I did okay? I absolutely know I did okay just by getting these. OMG, I'm so excited. I can't wait to wash them up and get them listed on eBay because I know, I I mean, even if I only get a hundred bucks for the pair, heck yeah, all day long. That still paid for this whole thrift haul. And I got all this other stuff to sell. So yeah. Okay guys, that's it for this thrift haul video. And I will see you in the next. Bye.